Your coverage of it all. Here are some uh, closer look at the results after some of that flooding in southern Utah. It also happened in Zion National Park, Capitol Reef National Park, and even Cedar City, as we're hearing from Alana. However, with the threat of more flash floods over the next few days, Cedar City is handing out sandbags. We want to get the word out. Our crews spoke with officials who are encouraging people to come gather what they need. Yes, we would hope that people, if you have time or the need to come at any time, uh, we actually, the city shed is going to leave the gate open all through the night. If anyone wants to come by and fill bags through the night, they're welcome to come fill. Okay, so we're going to repeat this yet again so you get this information. The threat of flash flooding will continue as more rain and thunderstorms are in the forecast. So if you are in need of sandbags, you can collect some at the search and rescue shed on Kitty Hawk Drive in Cedar City and the city shed off Airport Road. So Officer Ludlow, who you heard from, saying while there isn't a limitation on how many you can take, just please take what is needed. And we are continuing.